Hi, I'm Mark Wallace and I'd like to introduce you to the Pocket Wizard Mini TT1 and Flex TT5. If you're ready to get your flash off your camera, the Mini and Flex will help you do just that, and a lot more. The Mini and Flex are designed to work with your existing Canon DSLR and flash. And setting things up is pretty simple. First, slide the Mini onto your camera's hot shoe. Next, we'll slide our flash onto the hot shoe of the Flex. Now you'll need both a Mini and a Flex or two Flex transceivers. Now let's set both the Mini and the Flex to the same channels. This also turns them on. Now we're ready to turn on our flash. Just make sure it's set to normal ETTL mode, which is the default setting. You don't have to set the flash to slave or do anything special to make it work. The Flex is going to handle everything for you. Now we'll turn on our camera and we're just about ready to shoot. But before we do, I would like to mount my uh, off-camera flash on a light stand or have an assistant hold it for me. But since I don't have an assistant, I'm going to mount this on the light stand. The Flex has a standard hot shoe foot, which makes it really easy to mount on a standard umbrella adapter like this one. You can get these umbrella adapters at most stores. Once I have the Flex all set up on that, I'm going to put this on my light stand here. And then I'm going to raise the antenna on the Flex. Now I want to diffuse the light just a little bit, so I'm going to use an umbrella. And I've invited Christina to show us how easy this is. Hi. Hi. Okay, so what we'll do is, I'll get this in here. The neat thing about the Pocket Wizard Mini Inflex is that the camera thinks the flash is actually attached to the camera. And that means all the normal flash functions are still available to you. In ETTL mode, the camera and flash work together to meter the light and make all the adjustments necessary automatically. Even if you're bouncing the light using an umbrella or any other light modifier, you don't have to learn anything new to get great pictures. Now each time you turn on the Mini and Flex, you just need to take one shot to calibrate everything. So let's do that right now. Look right at me. Good. Okay, now I'm going to take one more shot just to make sure everything looks good. And there we go. And it does. Okay, once that's done, the system is ready to go. You only need to calibrate the system when you turn it on. Okay, let's take a couple of headshots. Look right at me. Beautiful. Just like that. Chin toward me just a little bit. Great. Looks wonderful. Just like that. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. The Mini and Flex do a lot more than allow you to move your flash off your camera. Let me show you a few things you can do with the Mini and Flex. Let's start with the Pocket Wizard Mini TT1. The Mini is Pocket Wizard's compact transmitter. You can use it to fire any Pocket Wizard receiver. The Mini is fully compatible with the Plus, the Plus 2, Multimax, or any flash with the Pocket Wizard built in. But what sets the Mini apart is its ability to work with the Flex transceiver and your existing Canon flash system. It transmits all of the camera's ETTL information so that you can use your Canon flash and all of its features wirelessly. The Mini uses radio signals instead of light to communicate with the Flex and remote flash. This means that you can shoot in direct sunlight or at long distances. It also means that the transmitter and receiver don't have to see each other to work. There's a USB port on the side of the Mini, so you can connect it to your computer. This allows you to upgrade the Mini when new features are released. It also allows you to set many of the advanced features of the Mini. You can customize all kinds of things. You can tell the Mini when to switch to high speed sync. You can set up the channels used for communication. You can even turbocharge your camera's sync speed using a new technology called HyperSync. The Mini is a transmitter and it sits on top of your camera's hot shoe. The Flex TT5 is a transceiver. That means it can be used on your camera as a transmitter, just like the Mini, or as a receiver to catch the radio signals from a Mini or a Flex. It even works with all Pocket Wizard radio transmitters, like the Plus 2 or the Multimax. That means that you can use it like a normal Pocket Wizard to trigger flashes in manual mode, or use it with another Flex or a Mini to control your Canon flash in ETTL mode. The Flex has all the features of the Mini, but it also has camera and flash ports like a standard Pocket Wizard, which means that you can use the Flex to control a camera remotely or use it to trigger any studio strobe. It also has a switch on the side that allows you to use Canon's zone system for wireless ratio control. It also allows you to use the Flex with Pocket Wizard Multimax zones. The Mini and Flex add the flexibility of Pocket Wizard radio technology with the power of Canon ETTL flash systems. Now you can place your flashes anywhere you want, out of sight, around corners, behind trees, and at distances that were never before possible, indoors or out. And if you add a second flex and a Canon flash 
you have all the ingredients of a small studio. That's really cool. Now that you know a little bit more about the Mini and the Flex, let's take them out for a test spin. I've asked Christina to help me demonstrate some of these features. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's get going. In this setup, I used two 580EX2 flashes mounted on two flex units to create a small studio. The umbrellas were used to soften the light. I shot with a Canon 50D and had a Mini mounted on the hot shoe to trigger the flashes. All of these photos were shot in aperture priority mode and the flashes were in ETTL mode. In this setup, I'm using the flash to balance the bright background with the shaded area where the model is positioned. I had the flash mounted on a light stand and I had my assistant move it based on the position of the model. I used high speed sync, which enabled me to shoot with very fast shutter speeds. This allowed me to shoot with my aperture wide open for a very shallow depth of field. All of these photos were shot in aperture priority mode and the flash was set to ETTL. For these shots, I used two flashes mounted on two flex units. I positioned one flash to the right of the model as the key light and another behind her as a separation light. These were also shot using high speed sync. The camera was set to aperture priority mode and the flashes were in ETTL mode. In this setup, the flash was hidden behind the tree on the right. It was completely obscured from the camera's view. Because the Mini and Flex use radio signals to communicate, you can position the flash anywhere you need to get a great shot. These photos were taken in aperture priority mode with the flash set to ETTL. In this last setup, I had the flash hidden behind the tree to the left of the model and was shooting about 30 yards away. The Mini and Flex allow you to position the flash in any location you need and at distances never before possible. These photos were also taken in aperture priority mode with the flash set to ETTL. Well, thanks, Christina. That was fun. For more information about the Mini TT1 and Flex TT5 and the amazing ways you can use them, be sure to watch the full series of instructional videos at pocketwizard.com.